So the first card is uh, the choose wisely card. So there's a need for you to review all the facts. There's a lot of decisions that you need to make. But look at every option available for you. Look in depth at it before you make a decision. So do some research if you do need to do that. Uh, you've been dealing with a lot of conflicts and a lot of, um, you know, feeling very, very defeated in this particular situation. And making, maybe you're making your mind up to actually move on. So you're weighing all your options or considering all your possibilities of what you can do right now. There is a fresh start coming in for you with the New Beginnings card, so this is the Fool. Uh, there could be some travel coming in as well over there, so you are going to be moving on in a new direction, and maybe this is what's happening. You're looking into all your different possibilities at this particular moment, and letting go of that situation and moving on. You might have felt very humiliated in that particular situation, whatever that was that happened. Now, you've got the Material Harvest, so it, it looks like things were working out pretty well as far as the finances go. Uh, it seems like in the past you have been on top of things, uh, you know, um, um, this is the nine of uh, pentacles, so being very, very independent. Uh, you've got the heart chakra. Whatever you're doing, you loved doing it as well. And this is, you know, you're very, very stable in this particular situation. Now, going into the future, and then it seems like something has happened, and now you have to move on. So going into the future, you've got the spiritual union or the two of cups over there and the disruption. So there could be some uh, issues going on within a, a love relationship there. And maybe this is what you're uh, feeling this sense of conflict or you know, defeat in. Uh, because you've got the spiritual union with the uh, tower card next to, there, uh, to it. There might be some kind of big conflict that happens or big drama that happens in your relationship at this particular moment. So think carefully before you decide to take, uh, you know, to leave everything behind and make a fresh start over there. Uh, but it looks like there might be some problems that are going on between you and the person uh, that you are involved in. This might be a soulmate connection that you have, but you've got the tower coming in. So there's some kind of big drama, kind of big disruption going on uh, that's going to, you know, have have you feeling very much in pieces but also pretty much tied up uh, and not knowing what to do so it's very important and since you've got that heart chakra also uh, in the cards um, you know in the past uh, this might be blocked heart chakra and this is the reason why all these emotional issues are cropping up at this particular moment but make sure that you're thinking very carefully and choosing very wisely before you make big decisions so those are the energies for that week So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Kingdom Within oops, tarot, and that's for the um, general read. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got temperance. So there's a need for you to, uh, you know, control your temper, control your emotions uh, with the temperance card. So you need to keep a balance. Uh, don't go, uh, try not to be uh, too uh, emotionally upset or, you know, don't do extremes of emotions with this temperance card. You need to keep that balance in order for you to deal with whatever you're going through at the moment. Uh, so th that's very, very important to keep yourself extremely uh, balanced. Look at both sides of what is going on. See the bigger uh, picture, see the bigger issues uh, before you know jumping to conclusions or doing things uh, that will, you will later regret. So there is a definite need for you to control those emotions there. Uh, you've got the Magician card over there, and you've got uh, the Nine of Swords. So you might, so there is a conflict going on over here. You can see there's cruelty. So maybe this person is behaving very, very badly, and you're having a lot of conflict and a lot of problems. Um, you've got the Magician card over there as well, which is talking about you dealing with somebody who's lying. Or who's, uh, you know, they might be saying things. Or they could even be cheating or doing things behind your back. 
uh, the magician Khan has got that aspect of it where you know they are saying one thing to you and then doing something else and this might be the thing that is causing all that conflict and it might be causing you to actually even lose your temper there uh, with that temperance card here so just uh, you know keep things in check just count to 10 when you lose your temper, uh, but also try not to get too emotionally upset about things. No, that's very difficult when it comes to um, emotional situations, because generally when you're involved with somebody, they know how to press your buttons. You've got the page of wands, so you have been uh, working pretty hard. You might have been doing a lot of travel, and it's all to do with your work, um, and you know maybe heading some kind of project over there with that page of wands. You've got the Four of Cups. It seems like some kind of uh, offer has been made to you, and maybe it's been an offer for you to travel, and you might be waiting for uh, some news to come in about it. So there has been some kind of new offer that has come in. If this is uh, an emotional offer that has come in to you, you might have not even considered it. Uh, so it looks like there's some kind of offer. This could even be an apology. Uh, maybe this person had been behaving pretty badly, and maybe they have tried to make an apology to you with that Four of Cups. You might not be even... You may not have even wanted to accept that apology here. You can see her head is, uh, you know, uh, turned to this cup, or it might be some uh, apology that has been unexpected. You were not, uh, you know, you didn't expect that to come in, and ha it has come in. You're certainly waiting for something with these cycles of the moon over here, so you're waiting for ch a change to come in. It looks like this offer is going to be made. So, like I said, this could be, um, you know, something on the emotional front. Uh, being made to you, or it could even be, um, you know, a new job offer, but something that may may involve you travel quite a bit. This has happened in the last few months. Now you've got the kingdom within all on your mind, so you're really not quite sure what is going on. This is the unknown card within this particular deck, and it says, you know, you are open to all possibilities, but you have no idea what is coming for you. So you haven't made any kind of plans yet. Uh, you're waiting to see what happens. And you can see that's going on there with that High Priestess card. You're not really speaking much to people about what is going on with you, but you are waiting for a change to come. You've got something that you want to do, some hope, some expectation, something that you want to give birth to, um, but you are waiting for this change to come. So um, you're keeping pretty much to yourself over here. And maybe all of this conflict that has been going on around you um, has got you really stumped. You're really not quite sure what to do within this particular situation where there seems to be some lies and a lot of conflict coming out of that situation. Now you've got the Queen of Swords over here, so you are waiting again over here for this for something to happen. You are pretty much determined. You want things to change. You want that balance to come in. Uh, you know, maybe you're feeling very lonely, very very isolated with this Queen of Swords as well. Uh, and you know, there might be a lot of harsh words that are going on between you and the person that you're dealing with at this moment. You've got the King of Wands over here, and this is you trying to take back your power and rising above that situation. This King of Wands is uh, flying the. Um, Phoenix, which is, you know, rising above the ashes. So they might, you might feel as though everything has become a disaster, but you're managing to, you know, keep your spirits up and you're managing to take control uh, of that situation again. This is your card, the King of Wands. Uh, it's, it's ruled by, uh, you know, the fire sign. So this is the card that rules Leo. So you are trying to heal from the situation. Um, you know, you could be getting some kind of support as well from maybe a fellow fire sign person. Now, what's happening with you? You do want that life. You've got a lot of, you know, the perfect life, if you like, with that Empress card. This is in your hopes and fears. You've got a lot of expectations about what you want. You're making a lot of plans in your head about what you want. You know exactly what you want. You want that life of luxury, really. Uh, so this is what you're hoping will come in for you. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Three of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So the Three of Swords being very, very heartbroken, maybe even considering, uh, you know, taking legal action in this particular uh, situation. So there are separations that are going on over here. You've got the Saturn sitting in um, Libra. So, you know, you might have had a temporary separation uh, and you're waiting for some kind of apology to come in at this particular time. You've got the Ace of Pentacles over here. So you want this uh, relationship to start off something, you know, you want to start off maybe a brand new relationship. Maybe this is also new money coming in. Maybe there's a new job that you're going to be focusing on at this particular time. It looks like there's some kind of reconciliation that comes in over here with this Two of Cups. So whatever this heartbreak is, whatever the separation, it is only temporary because it looks like you'll start off again and maybe building on stronger foundations 
and a better relationship coming in after that for you. So it looks like there might be an apology that comes in from this particular person. You all maybe make a brand new start at it and may have a more solid foundation um, after going through a bit of heartbreak, a bit of separation over there. And you are waiting for that at this time. You've got that high priestess. So it looks like although there's been something that has been really upsetting for you and it's causing a lot of drama and it may have led to a, a temporary situation, it looks like there will be some kind of resolution to that uh, problem. Uh, your prob it looks like your may, you know, with this nine of swords is generally you know, towards the end of that cycle of difficulties. So you're nearly at the end of, of all these difficulties that are going on. Uh, it looks like you just need to have patience and hang in there and just keep yourself balanced, you know, keep your emotions in check. Now I'm just going to uh, draw some cards from the Angel Tarot for the um, Oracle read. And you've got the chariot, so an important achievement, self-discipline, willpower, and public recognition. So if you've got problems, you know, this is, uh, the chariot deals with family problems or family issues. It seems like there has been some problems. But there is going to be, uh, you know, a resolution of those problems with that chariot cut. So whatever is going on in that, on the home front is going to, you know, uh, calm down. You've got the six of water over here and memories from the past uh, regarding issues regarding children and romanticizing the past. Now, you might be, um, you know, um, reminiscing too much about the past. And maybe it's time to let that go, let go of that kind of energy and, you know, look to the future, make plans to the future. Uh, this could also be, you know, relying on family and, uh, you know, close friends that you knew uh, throughout your childhood uh, to give you that uh, support as well. You also could be dealing with issues about uh, your own children. Now, the renewal card is being given a second chance to do it. So there's a family, happy family over there. So review and evaluate a, favorite, a favorable assessment of facts and time to move in a new direction. So it looks like if you have a reconciliation in this particular relationship, which looks like it is going to be coming, there's going to be firmer foundations or better relationship that comes out from it because you've got that Ace of Pentacles, uh, you know, something firm, power of earth in this card. So strong foundations being built there. And, uh, you know, it looks like it will be much better uh, than it, what it was because you are being given a second chance. It looks like the two of you have learned um, a lot from whatever problems you've been going through and it looks like you know uh, your relationship will take a different direction uh, so it looks like reconciliation coming in but uh, you're building a stronger relationship after that so i hope all of this works out for you please don't forget to like share subscribe uh, if these messages resonate with you and thank you so much for watching take